I am Master Sergeant Royston. I am the Rudders Rangers Advisor at Texas A&M University. I'm Cadet Freeze. I'm the Rudders Rangers Commanding Officer and I go to Texas A&M University. My name is Katie Humphreys. I am a senior here at Texas A&M. Hi, my name is Second Lieutenant Nathan Villamain. Uh, I am a current recruiter at Texas A&M and I graduated back in May. So in the ROTC environment, cadets roughly have two hours of instruction per week that they get hands on. Uh, with the MMTS, it's, a, it's an added benefit for the instructors because the cadets are able to come up at any point in time and get hands-on marksmanship uh, instruction at any point that they can come in here, power on the system, and put simulated rounds down range. So I wasn't the best shooter. I had some experience coming into college. I had shot before, and then freshman year we did some basic marksmanship, but I was never anything above a sharpshooter, um, average at best. Uh, my sophomore year, they introduced the MMTS system. I got to train on it and get reps, and then my shooting um, immensely increased because of it. The call for fire system was introduced to me my sophomore year. Um, before then, our call for fire was all sandbox, all on the ground. Um, and so when we introduced the digital system, it actually showed cadets what a real life implementation of call for fire would look like. Um, and we've all uh, gotten really familiar with it. Everyone's gotten a few repetitions trying the training module and so um, all the cadets are able to implement that training at camp and other competitions. The nice thing about the system is it simulates live fire uh, without us having to leave A&M's campus to go to a range and draw ammo and pull rifles and get everyone set up and then to shoot. This system allows us to train and practice on a weekly basis multiple times a week. So you know, I would come up here in between classes, hook up with Cadre, and start working the system and getting training in, you know, day in, day out. I don't think there's anything it didn't really prepare us for. Um, the MMTS system is pretty overarching in its abilities. Um, for camp, specifically, it prepared me for the qualification table. Um, I could practice on, you know, multiple different ranges. The repetition, being able to come up here whenever and shoot, um, and just getting as many reps as possible, I think all of those factors really increased my score. So with this system, I was able to refine some of my more fine skills and learn ballistics better on bullet drop. And this allowed me to transition this training out to the real range to confirm that everything lined up properly. This allowed me to uh, take these skills and win excellence in competition medals for both rifle and pistol at the small arms all army competition held in Fort Benning, Georgia. It's a competition held for all active duty and reserve component soldiers uh, who travel across the country to compete. And in this competition, I ended up getting first place in the cadet class. So at camp this summer, I placed top of my regiment. Um, I was first out of 650. And I attribute that to um, you know, the leadership that I was able to show over my individual skills tasks, one of those being marksmanship. I was prepared going into camp. Um, I, I knew how to shoot. I knew how it worked. I'd been an instructor. I'd used the MMTS. Um, and when I got to camp, I was able to you know, provide PMI instruction for all of my peers and uh, demonstrate some leadership there. All of that helped me to be a top performer at camp this summer. Um, the MMTS system, I attribute my, my top score at camp too. Um, I've used it to train the company, um, and it's not just my company, but my units within the Corps. It's been super useful in teaching people who've never shot a gun before, um, getting them down, getting them comfortable with the M4 rifle specifically. Um, it builds that confidence and you know, the training that they need before they get out there and start putting live rounds down range.